Hey everyone, it's Dr. Bachman. Welcome. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that I hear often about. There's a lot of confusion about stretching. Um, what is it good for? Which stretches should I be doing? How often? How long should I hold them? There's tons of information online and a lot of it is conflicting. It kind of disagrees. Um, and, and, and the main thing I notice is that most people don't have a feeling for what stretches are actually useful for and that I think is where the root of the problem is because if you don't know what it's helping or what it's good for you don't know when to do it or which areas to stretch so for example stretches um, the easiest way to think of a stretch is it has one usefulness and that usefulness is to increase range of motion if it's lacking so you are a, a chain of moving moving parts you have 360 joints in your body each one is designed to move through a normal range of motion and if it can do that your body functions well it can do the things it's programmed to do do them without hurting that it, yourself so but if stiffness happens like muscles get too short and taut for example um, then that prevents the joint from doing its job normally and it shifts that joints workload to other joints so then essentially it's as if you being a chain of moving parts are kind of welding some of those those links in your chain together and there are fewer workers able to do the work which means each remaining worker has to do a lot more so essentially stiff tight joints tight muscles overwork other parts of you and make you more likely to injure yourself and it also reduces performance so if you were rigid because none of your joints had any mobility you're gonna be a pretty slow runner and it's gonna be a lot of work to run because you're fighting against all that stiffness so must, uh, stretches have one usefulness, that is to increase range of motion if it's lacking. Therefore, that's the only metric we care about when doing a stretch, um, is that each day you do the stretch, you gain some flexibility. Um, and as long as that's happening, you're doing the stretch right. Now, as far as to figure out what stretches to do, um, first, you, the tricky part is you have to know what the normal range of motion of the joint is. Now, we go into this in my my pain programs will show you what the most common um, tight areas are, the, t the most commonly tight muscles in the body are, how to do the stretch to fix them. But I'll tell you this, my rule for all stretches is different than most anywhere else that I've, I've heard. So I, I prescribe stretches for much longer. So for example, um, you'll hear, oh, hold the stretch for 20 seconds. A 20 second stretch is not going to give you any net improvement in flexibility. It's that, that muscle is going to snap right back to its original length when you're done. You may have some temporary pain relief, but you're not going to have net improvement in flexibility, which is the all important thing with a stretch. So for example, with the hamstrings, my hamstring stretches, I prescribe them for four minutes per leg. And that's a lifetime. That's a long stretch, way more than most people do. But you get your results much faster if you're stretching four minutes per leg every day. You will see big improvements in range of motion fast. And then it's much easier to maintain that flexibility when you're done. Um, and the intensity of the stretch matters a lot too. Um, so for example, if you just held kind of an easy stretch for four minutes, you're not going to get any net improvement in flexibility. My recommendations for my patient's stretches are that stretch needs to be barely tolerable. So barely tolerable means you can last the full four minutes per leg, but you're kind of miserable the whole time. And again, barely tolerable does mean you can last it. You don't have to bail early on the stretch. If you feel like you, get, you have to bail early on the stretch because it's just too much pain, that means back off the stretch a little bit. So you're in charge of how much it hurts during any stretch. Um, also, the form during the stretch. So for example, I gave a hamstring stretch example. There are millions of different hamstring stretches. Toe touches, sit and reach, prop a leg up, doorway hamstring stretch. My personal favorite, especially for someone who has a real st uh, stiff, real limited range of motion, in the hip because of tight hamstrings is laying on your back, propping your leg up in a doorway, both knees locked. So uh, for example, if you were to lay on, on your back in the doorway and have your down leg bent, expect no improvement uh, in, in flexibility from that stretch. So again, we'll go into kind of specifics on each of these things, but my, my main uh, point is, is understanding what a stretch is useful for. It, it increases flexibility if a joint is stiff and limited. And then once you fix the flexibility, you don't have to keep doing that stretch. So it's not something you have to do every day like brushing your teeth. It's a tool that fixes a very specific problem and then you put that tool away until it's needed again. So the way to tell you need it again is by you trying the stretch. Do I have normal range of motion? Good, don't have to do the stretch. But check it periodically. And the thing is too is that the most common re reason that muscles shorten up in the first place 
is simply that you're not taking them to their full length regularly enough and your body resizes them to the length you're spending, they're spending most time in. So basically, your body takes on the shape it spends the most time in. So therefore, stretching is one of those maintenance tools. It fixes a problem now, it, it touches up that flexibility problem should start developing in the future. So I hope this has all been helpful. Uh, we're going to talk a lot more about these kinds of things and we're going to give you some other videos that show demonstrations of these kinds of things um, in the future. Also, if you want to stay in touch with uh, new stuff that we come out with, make sure and subscribe below, ring the bell, that'll get you notifications. And we're always looking to answer questions you might have. So if you have issues that you just, you know, it's always been an issue, it's, it's always been unclear to you how something works or why pain happens or any, anything about health and sports medicine, I'd love to answer those questions. Leave us, leave us an, uh, the question down in the comment sec section and we're going to do our best to address it for everybody. So thanks for coming by, guys. We'll see you next time.